According to former Apollo 11 NASA employee Ken Johnson, while Neil and Buzz were on the lunar surface, Neil switched to the medical channel and spoke directly with the chief medical officer saying, they're here, they're parked on the side of the crater, they're watching us. Mission Control responded, what's there? Apollo 11 replied, these babies are huge, sir, enormous. I'm telling you there are other spacecraft out there, lined up on the far side of the crater edge. They're on the moon watching us. According to Edgar Mitchell, the sixth man to walk on the moon, after traveling in space, I'm fully confident that the aliens are watching us. During the Apollo mission, they dropped two satellites to measure the moon quakes, and the seismometers rang like a bell for an hour, with reverberations that lasted 14 hours. Famed astronomer H.P. Wilkins theorized that the moon is hollow, with approximately a 30 to 40 mile hull. According to indigenous African Zulu legend, the moon is an egg with its yolk removed, brought here by dragons from another world and was put in place by two brothers of alien form, Wawain and Umpenku. According to David Icke, we live in a hologram that's controlled from the artificial moon by reptilians. The moon is where their control room is, where they direct their holographic technology towards Earth and keep us trapped. According to Ike, the moon, however, is just a relay station, and the real programming seems to come from the planet Saturn. The ancient Greeks believed that those visited by Selene, the goddess of the moon, were subject to bouts of nocturnal mania. Aristotle, Plutarch, and multiple other Greek writers describe a time before the moon, when the moon did not exist, and the only humans that existed were the Pelasgians living in the mountains of Arcadia. They were also known as Proselenes, meaning those that were before the moon in Greek. Colombian indigenous tribes tell legends of the earliest times when the moon was not yet in the heavens. In Bolivia, symbols on the wall of Kala Sasaya say that the moon came into orbit around Earth at a specific moment in time thousands of years ago. All these legends speak of a cataclysm that almost wipes out the entire human race when the moon was planted. The Yongu people, an indigenous tribe of Australia, say that before the moon existed, everyone on Earth was immortal. But the moon cursed all humans and animals so that only he could return to life. For everyone else, death would thereafter be final. Maybe this is why the moon is the symbol of Shiva, Hindu god of destruction.